start just yet. Oh! Looks like we're gonna have Nut Roast join us on the mic here. Nice little crackle. Uh, how are we doing, Chief? I am doing so well. How are you, Nut Roast? Hey, I'm quite well myself on this nice and hot Monday evening. But we've got a couple of hot sets to get through. First of all, it's Darkstalker versus Jester. Chief, tell me, what do you know about these players? Honestly, so Darkstalker, we all know, doesn't need any introduction at all. But Jester, up and coming Yoshi player, I believe from the Cumbrian region, uh, a scene that he, I believe he's trying to start up. Uh, He's clearly pretty good. Here he is in winners' quarterfinals fighting Darkstalker. Uh, I have no idea about the matchup, though. Yeah, that is where things get interesting. You may have seen every now and again, if you have been following Darkstalker's tweets, he's very, very happy with pulling this Sonic out, feeling very confident in it. If you did watch Resurgence just two nights ago, use this Sonic to take him all the way to top two. It looks like he's going to push it even further here, Chief, with the opening Gambit. Only 24% on Dark yeah. Stalker. Narrows is looking really rough for Jester right now, considering he's already lost the stock and he, he's already been lapped by Dark Stalker, clearly showing that this Sonic is certainly something to be feared. Uh, he used to main Sonic all the way before Terry came out and it's very clear that he's not let him go. Also, the tags are the wrong way. Oh, we got it covered. We have got yes. it covered indeed. And this is where things get very interesting because Dark Stalker playing Sonic is actually a little different to Terry in this matchup because Yoshi loves to box. Chief, yes. and I'm sure you know that too. Oh, yeah, they love absolutely. to fight. Hey, something's happening on screen. I'll smack a button and we'll get sorted. But. Sonic, he gets to choose his openings a bit more. Gets to play a little bit more clinical. Yes. And that could really throw Jester out. Yeah, no, I can imagine. I mean, honestly, when you've got a frame three now, I can imagine I'd be pushing gay every five seconds <laughs> at disadvantage as well. But Jester, getting back to stage quite cleanly right here, but he's still got such a massive deficit here. Exactly. And this is something that's kind of interesting. You saw just there Jester abusing the super armor on the double jump to actually avoid the spring trap. Oh, Maybe yeah. that's not the best thing to call it. It might, uh, might activate a couple of... <laughs> a couple like, it's of, it's uh, called Spring Trap now. We've coined it. That's there it what is. it is. There it is. Oh, uh, man, that back throw is going to kill him. Two stocks off of Jester already in Darkstalker. He's living at the, end of it, sorry, at the end of his stock here, but still, if, if Jester can't take it, then what's he going to do? Amen, amen. Darkstalker looking incredibly comfortable right now. Catching him in a couple of our pairs. A little bit of a follow-up right there. Jester playing the defensive game well, but you can defend all you want. Eventually, the armor is going to crack. You've got to make an aggressive play at some point, but Darkstalker just maneuvering all around him there, yeah. Chief. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we all know that once Sonic secures that lead, there's not much you can do about it. They can feel free to run around the stage and keep you out as long as they like. But Darkstalker opting for quite an aggressive play style here. Look at him, he's, he's, he's boxing with him, honestly. Certainly is, and that is not an easy feat. Perfect Barry comes out, shield grab, not quite gonna do it. Forward tilt sends him out as well, but a flying fair isn't quite what Dark Stalker wants. Still nice and rage filled. Could definitely find an easy, easy kill here if there's a hard read, but Jester not looking to die that easy. Tries to get oh. the punish instead of parry, a double up smash oh, into God. a down. Those three parries in a row, Dark Stalker reading him like a book, and there he goes, end of first game. Three stocks on Dark Stalker, zero for Jester. And you have got to be running your mind, sprinting around the Mind Palace, Chief, to find a way out of that. That was clinical from Dark Stalker. Yeah, absolutely. Considering how many parries he threw out in the last few interactions there, Jester going to have to mix up some of his timings. Otherwise, Dark Stalker is going to continue to walk all over him. Absolutely crazy. And those parries, they're a real difference maker. If you're not playing at the very top level, and don't get me wrong, Jester is a fantastic player, always having really good showings. But when you get to the very top level, when you play against these players who can parry on reaction, who know that they can maneuver after snapping that stick, suddenly they get a lot more advantage than you're used to as we're dropping down to final destination there, Chief. Yes, absolutely. And honestly, we're going to see if we get any semblance of a repeat from last game, but just uh, already kind of starting off okay, keeping it even. But let's see what happens when it comes to... Oh! Pops him in an egg, but he's unable to convert off of it. 
Yeah, and those grabs are very, very difficult. Maybe the super armor through the forward air. That is going to be the difference maker in this, but Jester has to push it so much further if he wants to take down the titan of Dark Stalker. Belly armoring through that forward smash as well, not taking quite as heavy a punish as he might like. Yeah, that's the main thing here. Jester is um, struggling to follow up on his convergence here, but Dark Stalker very much landing as many as he can. Don't get me wrong here. The thing about this duo, this match in winners' quarters, it's almost a kind of sneak, a kind of preview, a kind of next week on Dragon Ball Z about grand finals. Because oh, yeah. normally we have such a strong lineup. We've got Dark Stalker, we've got uh, Zone, we've got you know Pelly whenever he shows up, yeah. Emas. You've got this kind of guaranteed top four, but they aren't here today. Too hot, oh, yeah. Chief. Instead, Dark Stalker is the solid seed number one, and it's all about dethroning the king. Oh Chief. yeah, absolutely. And honestly, Jester making it all the way up here in their absence is still an impressive feat. And we might see Jester still further along if he if he continues after this set. Especially taking that first stock. That is a fantastic turnaround from Jester there. Let's see if they can push it all the way. Three percent on the Sonic right now. The game, the name of the game, their chief is extra credit, of course. Of course. And honestly, just is making use of the shield here. Kyoshi, as we know, has that unpokeable shield, and it just means Dark Souk is going to struggle now. Now that he has to go on the offensive, he's going to struggle to get through that shield. But finally secures that first stock, keeping it fairly even. Yeah, and it becomes very interesting. Dark Souk are definitely very open to playing an aggressive game. Just a shield going very, very low there. No platforms to retreat to. It's all about call and response there, Chief. There's no platforms, there's yes. no nonsense. Jester has to call out the approaches or else Dark Stalker yeah. wins. It's almost a coin flip every time. Yeah, absolutely. And honestly, we can see Dark Stalker actually at the deficit, losing for the first time this set. And Jester's keeping on not edge guarding him on stage, but Dark Stalker finally takes center stage. Find out a misplaced egg roll into a dash, into a forward air. Luckily, Jester does go high, delays. The aerial move speed with that up special as well. Catches him with an egg. Let's see if we can find a smash to call it out. Maybe even an air Ooh. instead of perfect parry. Oh, goes for that brave down B and it all goes back in his face for it. Isn't that just the way? Once again, they can armor through that spring. The muscle memory of Darkstalker coming through there. Ooh. See, we're back for it here. Definitely not going to kill in any sense, but definitely putting Jester into disadvantage. Down it comes through, throws up the spike to try and mess up. And a slight, slight pop off from Jester there. They are trying to get the blood pumping, Chief. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, honestly, when you're finally winning against Darkstalker here, the one slated to win it all, I can imagine that energy is what you kind of need to keep this lead going. 158% Jester's on such a borrowed life. But hey, even stocks, 0-0. Zero, zero. Amen to that. Looks like Jester has to maintain the momentum he has been pushing, but an insane string from Darkstalker takes him to 77 right off the bat, and he four on the Hedgehog. Jester going to come up with something insanely good if they do want to hold a chance at taking a game of one of the London legends, Darkstalker Chief. Absolutely, and honestly, Darkstalker getting his advantage right up 124 on Jester Jester hasn't really even made a move on Darkstalker yet this is the moment where Jester has to come back otherwise his stock will be ending very soon certainly certainly will trying to cover a jump but a little bit early there Jester able to get a little bit of percentage off of the Blue Fury right there B reverse B ain't gonna be it there brother as the up jump comes in sends him out here we go Jester struggling to get back up to the stage here. Darkstalk is really applying the pressure here. How is Jester going to get back? Jets sent him up once again. Percentage on percentage. The spring does catch him out. An egg to cover the cover. Looks like the falling fair ain't going to do it. But eventually, Darkstalker clutches it out. 2-0. 2-0 indeed. What do you think Jester needs to do here in order to secure some kind of comeback against Darkstalk? He's clearly keeping it more even than before. But there must be some kind of final push he needs. It's tough. It's very tough indeed, Jester. Very, very clearly making a much stronger debut that second game. Almost even had the advantage several times, but alas, Darkstalker has the clutch factor, has the wisdom, the experience. And 